Systemic sclerosis is an autoimmune disease, characterized by diffuse fibrosis of the skin and internal organs. There are two major types of systemic sclerosis based on the extent of skin involvement. Limited disease and diffuse type. The limited type affects the areas below, the elbows, knees and there is the involvement of the face. It is seen in 80% of cases, while the diffuse form also affects the skin above the elbows and knees. Patients with limited type have a good prognosis as compared to the diffuse form. Limited cutaneous systemic sclerosis or crest syndrome. In this category, Raynaud's may be the initial presentation. In this type, skin involvement is limited to the face, hands, and feet. It is associated with anticentromere antibodies. Features specific to this group are calcinosis, Raynaud's phenomenon, esophageal dysmotility, sclerodactyly, and telangiectasia. Diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis While the diffuse form also affects the skin above the elbows and knees. In diffuse cutaneous systemic sclerosis, there is a diffuse skin involvement. It is associated with SCL70 antibodies. Moreover, it spreads to visceral organs, like kidneys, heart, lungs, and gastrointestinal tract. It is seen in 20% of cases. Feature of systemic sclerosis In the skin, systemic sclerosis leads to hardening and scarring. As a result, skin becomes tight, reddish, or scaly. Moreover telangiectasia, pigmentation and depigmentation is seen on the skin of scleroderma patients. More than 80% of patients present with vascular symptoms and Raynaud's phenomenon which affects the fingers and toes. Systemic scleroderma and Raynaud's can lead to painful ulcers on the fingers or toes. Calcinosis is often seen near the elbows, knees, or other joints. Myopathy may occur in scleroderma either from the disease or its treatments. Lungs involvement in systemic sclerosis. Impairment of lung function is commonly seen in patients with diffuse scleroderma. In advanced disease, patients may develop pulmonary hypertension, and even right-sided heart failure. Digestive tract. There may be decreased motility in the esophagus and the lower esophageal sphincter, leading to dysphagia and chest pain. Small intestine involvement in systemic sclerosis leads to bacterial overgrowth. 
Consequently, patients suffer from malabsorption of fats, carbohydrates, proteins, and vitamins. Kidneys involvement in systemic sclerosis Kidney involvement, in scleroderma, is associated with poor prognosis and commonly leads to death. The important clinical complication of scleroderma involving the kidney is the scleroderma renal crisis, the manifestation of which is malignant hypertension. Diagnosis Diagnosis is clinical and on the presence of autoantibodies. Anti-SCL70 antibodies. Anti-Centromere antibody. A skin biopsy may be performed to confirm the diagnosis. Chest X-ray may reveal diffuse pulmonary lung disease or honeycomb lung. Lung function tests may show restrictive lung disease. RA test is positive in 20–30% of cases. ANA is positive in 70% of cases. Treatment There is no specific treatment for scleroderma. However, options exist to control the symptoms. Exposure to cold should be avoided. Moreover, lubricants may be used to avoid the dryness of the skin. Topical treatment for the skin changes of scleroderma do not affect the course of the disease, however, may improve pain and ulceration. The benefit of steroids is limited in this disease. Episodes of Raynaud's phenomenon usually respond to nifedipine or other calcium channel blockers. Dual endothelin receptor antagonist bosentan may be beneficial in Raynaud's. Severe digital ulceration may respond to prostacyclin analog iloprost. Skin tightness can be treated with methotrexate and cyclosporin, while penicillamine has an important role in the prevention of skin thickness. Kidney disease Scleroderma renal crisis is a life-threatening complication of systemic sclerosis. Renal vascular injury leads to renal ischemia, which results in activation of the renin-angiotensin-aldosterone system. The mainstay of therapy for scleroderma renal crisis are ACE inhibitors. ACE inhibitors reduce renin-angiotensin-aldosterone activity and improve renal function and consequently the blood pressure. Lung disease. Active alveolitis is commonly managed with cyclophosphamide along with a small dose of steroids. While pulmonary hypertension in scleroderma may be treated with apoprostenol or bosentan. For reflux esophagitis, proton pump inhibitors and prokinetic drugs are used. For more videos, visit our channel. Thanks.